morning everyone welcome to the youtube video here on the channel my name is emily today we're driving five oscar six from here at the princess royal delivery center in wilsden down to tunbridge we'll be taking it as far as factory junction today so we're just going to get the cab of our train set up and we'll do that 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 so look at the front of the train it should now be set up for lights Nope, lights on. Instrument lights are on. Just go blast the horn. Let people know we're moving away. And away we go. So our start speed limit today is 15 miles per hour. Hopefully that will be... Uh, well, I'll say that we... Hopefully that will be to adhere to. Don't know why I said that. But there you have it. So we're starting off today and we're going to be... Like I said, we are... About a minute early on the departure, but it's fine. We've got the road, so might as well go a bit early. We are going to be basically sneaking over the West Coast Main Line, then um, following some faster passenger trains down the West London Line. As we are empty stock, we are low priority, therefore we are going to be at the back of the tr back of anyone's basically follow list. So, yeah, two embers. There's a first. I've modified this scenario a little. To be honest, I don't think I've modified it too perfectly. But uh, this what used to be an electric loco, so I'm fairly positive. So yeah. But anyway, we are. Yeah, it used to be a 90, I think originally. Um, we are moving forward. So 25 now. So I'll just go up to 25. I'm just going to cruise along. So I'm, I'm, I'm learning to sit with my hands like off my keyboard now. Because um, this is being recorded just after the PNAF wagons. So I'm still having issues where I accidentally sit, sit, like half click and the game panics. But there we go, right, so, I want to go under this bridge at 15. Something going past, there you go, see, I just did it there. So 319 ahead, he's going to, I think he'll be snaking over at the right. So he'll be, he'll be in front of us going on the West London. So we've got a red ahead. So I'm not, no point accelerating. Once you basically, once you clear off this point work, it goes up to a 30. But, you know, we're against a red aspect. So there's absolutely no point accelerating. So yeah, I hope you guys are having a good day. Mine's been pretty okay. Done a, done a good amount of housework today. Um, you know, which I've been meaning to do for so bloody long. Yeah. Fingers crossed. That should clear. We should be able to cross. Just about... There we go, did it non-stop, woop woop. So we can pick the speed up to 33, zero miles an hour. It's a dry day, so I'm straight into full power.
we go. So going along and idle. I've got a couple of doors unlocked. That's what this is. When you get the blue light, that's what that means. That means that the door's unlocked, which is absolutely fine. That's crossing over the top. So potentially that'll be get up, go out in front of us. I'm not too sure. Um, so there's two options, because that's obviously Wilsdon Junction there. So it can go to either Richmond, uh, which wouldn't affect us, or down to Clapham Junction, which would affect us. Let's see. Um, and we do want to go past you about 15, so... What's this point work here? So 15. Single amber right ahead. You can see that's Wilson TMD on the left hand side with a 90, 86, 90, 313, and 86 at the front. We're just going to basically coast around the curve here and bring the train to a stand um, at the next signal because it's a red. Well, we think it's going to be a red. Yeah, red sided. So, what I'll do again is I'll just pull us down about five miles an hour just so we are really nice and slow, nice and defensive on the approach. to show this little area off so this is the, the, the west coast main line you can see there's a train here it's actually come off the great western basically arcs around the top and joins us here so it, that's quite a cool little run actually i might figure out a service that does that um so it comes down sort of past the disused uh wilson junction ews sidings then past the scrap sidings and basically overtakes us so approach very defensive so yeah um, this is my fourth attempt at recording this video today there you go so yeah that 313 is crossing in front oh well we couldn't withstand Yeah, he's on his way to clap him. Clap him. So I just got a neutral. Oh, three, two, one. Bye bye. Just he's been on its way to Milton Keynes. And a 90 overtaking as well. Neil. Interesting that that still shows. No, it's a red now. Oh, it's that. The, yeah, that signals the amber. So here's your 47 coming. Make a load of noise whilst he does it. Seven Valley Railway. So interesting. That's the 625 from Preston, and it's now 1141. And it's you know, so it's 625 Preston to Brighton. So it's still got 70 miles to run. It goes all the way down to Brighton past us. It's a shame that cross country no longer do these th those journeys because I'd love to do something like that. You know, I, I understand the whole point of cross country now is it goes nowhere near London, but at the same time, yeah, I think it's quite a cool, you know, combination of journeys, shall we say. Should be allowed out soon.
It's a great sound experience. <laughs> That was an awesome message. Oh. No more trains to see now. So yeah, it's just going to be waiting for one Oscar 66 to clear in front of us. And then we basically head down the West London line. And we just terminate here at Factory Junction. So it's, yeah. Oh, there we go, we've got the road, so away we go. I so heard something go past it behind us. But yeah, I've missed that now. So let's go. Start speed 30. But we, uh, yeah, we'll just stick to 30 for now because we actually need to come to a stand over the other side of the bridge. And single amber red ahead as well. So, but we are going to come to a stand, like I say, because I think the, uh, the, 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 the Preston Brighton is going to stop at at least there's a couple of places on the route on the way down so we'll probably get or, or sorry at least uh, uh, Kensington I think I'll, I'll put my teeth back in put my <laughs> stop ha, ha, right so thank you carrying on not what I asked for right the cross-country train is going to stop at probably Olympia Ken so we can um, you know just be aware that we'll probably get checked for that Okay, got single amber. So, the way this scenario is scripted, we have to stop next to that speed post there. So, I just got a bit early there, but we'll just go step one. Get nice and comfy for our changeover to diva mode. So 30, what we'll do is we'll just stop here, just check we are within, no we're not, we need to pull forward, my apologies. Anywhere here, so reverse it goes neutral, we'll go pan down, you can see we are, pan off, VCV is open. Control O. Line light is received. Away we go. You can hear the train sounds very different. If you're watching DC mode now. So we did depart against a single amber aspect, so uh, potentially right ahead. We are going to a 60 though, so you know, hopefully the train's excited to be under us a little bit. What I can do is just go notch one idle. So yeah, we're now in DC mode. So this, um, although it looks a lot like a networker, the underframe is basically that a three one nine, and that's how it can do these power changeovers. As far as I'm aware, the shoe gear has been removed on all, on all of them now. Single amber, so we'll like start it a little bit more. We'll go up to 60. Try and hit 60 before we have to break for Shepherd's Bush potentially. Um, so yeah, like I say, the um, 313. 
yeah, so the shoe gear's been removed because they don't go south of the river anymore. But they uh, have, like, 325s do see some weird and wonderful diagramming. Like, I've seen one, uh, that's a stop indication on the banner repeater. There we go. I just saw the banner repeat. I think that's that's what they're called banner repeaters. Uh, it's for the signal at the end of the, the platform. So I just saw that was at, dan at danger. So you can see them pass this because this is just a repeater, but it means that until you, you start the, the signal, which we have now almost, there you go, we can see it's red. I think in the local freight trains, about 14 over the magnet are red. Is the fast you're going? But we'll just approach nice and slow, maybe five. Well, here comes something towards us. Making a lot of noise as he goes. Give him a wave, 59. On a long aggregate train. So what we'll do is we'll just pop the train into neutral, and then we can pop our head out. So yeah, this is Shepherd's Bush Station. So what we'll do is we'll just do that, and just... Thumbnail, thumbnail. So it's about an eight mile drive in total, we've got about four and a half miles of that left, so we're pretty much halfway there now. But yeah. So yeah, just waiting for the for the signal to clear there. Is this what we see Sifford to make? I'm hungry, I'm sad. I want pizza. So I'm just keeping an eye on that signal there. Making sure that we know what we're doing with the correct departure. And do trip pepperoni. There we go. I've got the road now. Sorry, I'm just doing my pizza order whilst I'm sitting here. It's very rude of me. I can, all I can do is profusely apologise. So one of the things I have done today is uh, taken delivery of a DJI Osmo. Which is actually quite cool. Quite a cool bit of kit. Quite a cool bit of kit. There we go. That's what I was trying to do. Um, but overall, uh, I quite like it. It's going to be... Hopefully a step up for a lot of the the, re the real world videos I'm, I'm either doing or hoping to do soon. Um, I'm hoping to do... Um, so one of the ones I'm going to be doing is... Um, sorry. <sighs> my brain's mush. I'm also starting against a single amber aspect. What am I doing? Don't be going this quick. Step one break. Single amber at the end, so we'll stay at this pace. Sorry. Right. Starting that again. So, what I've been doing lately is planning to build a model railway this Christmas. Um, so, obviously it's February for you guys, but I'm still do. you know, it's the middle of November, November for me. So, I'm going to be doing some vlog-style videos. Um... Just taking the chance to expand the, the work I get can do on the channel, you know. So there's a 60 passing, this is a 50 after the right, the right kink, I think. But we'll just stay at this speed, just so that we uh, 
can get some space on the trains in front. Hmm. We're still, well, I mean, we're chasing Ambers at this point, but we know we're going to be absolutely fine. That was Kensington Olympia behind us. The next station we've passed can be Lily Bridge. So, next landmark we've passed is Lily Bridge, London Underground Depot. I'm actually going to be doing a video hopefully on this route with a guy who actually signs the route in reality. Um, which is a good idea. Put him a little bit to do that, to do a video. Um, green. So if we're on a green, I'm going to resume line speed of, of 50. Well, I said 60, but I'm going to go 50 again cause, because the speed drops ahead in the not too distant future. So I know we're going to start catching stuff. It's just, yeah. Again, if you have a little luck. So he's already arrived at Clapham. He's going over the, the, the ridge over the Thames, which is a 30 limit to him. And he then arcs around and heads south from Clapham Junction towards Brighton. This is West Brompton. So um, next station is Kanda Water. After that is a 30. Not Kanda Water. Imperial Wharf. Imperial Wharf. Uh, Kanda Water is on the East London line, which we've also done as a route learner. So, yeah, probably slow down a little bit on the early side, but it just means we're going to have a clear pass for the rest of the run. So this is Imperial Wharf. Um, fun fact, if you look into the map, that is these, this building here is literally a string of um like you look this isn't a roof this is kit bashed right you ready this is the uh, the gherkin you can't get under the map but it goes under the map just thought i'd tell you that um so continuing along 30 in the box so got a bit of power a bit of power So yeah, even though it says 40 there, we can't really accelerate because the 30 is just after this signal, basically. <sighs> mm. oh, sorry, I've just got a thingy. So I did, did an irrational purchase today. Um, I purchased some uh, a, a train from a model railway, which is hopefully going to be really cool. But it's also really expensive. Um, so for those of you who don't know, um, I'm in the northeast of England. We, at the moment, under northern get mainly sort of one five sixes and one five eights. The um, yeah, so you get one five six, one five eights, and lots of eight eight O X series trains basically. So I've got a, um, I've purchased a, a resprayed class one five six into Northern livery. So it's it's really it looks really cool. I like it a lot. Um, and it's the modern livery, but it was four hundred pounds plus. I think it was seventy eight pounds because it's it's two powered vehicles. Uh, so you get two DCC chips in it. So it's yeah. Ooh, 411, hello. So we must be running pretty close to time if we're seeing stuff like these 
these things fly over. New. Anything else coming? No. In that to line, yeah. Um, I do like what you can do with West London line though, and I am hoping to be doing some more stuff soon. But it's just basically, um, aside from recording the last part of the Liverpool Manchester, I'm recorded until the middle of February. Like. Oh, there's another 411. There's no reason any sane human should be this far in advance. Hang on, I said a 411. It says, no, 455. Weird thing about those, they've got, if, like, the roof in them is really high up. Another 411. Like, I, 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 if I, like, on a, a Zuma, I have no problem putting the full palm of my hand against the ceiling. On those, my fingertips would struggle to touch. So we're going down to 25 now. I did get a bit carried away there. My, my finger slipped, which put me into full power, but I, th I then saw it and, you know, saw the 25. So I checked myself down. I checked myself before I wrecked myself, which is always a good place to stand. I'm going to check my stop points just against the signal. Thing is, it's one of those things. In reality, if I stop a little bit long, a little bit short of the signal, it makes you know not much difference. But and that's of course um, ooh, four five. Another vehicle there. Another, that's, I happen to know it's a four five six. But yeah. At the moment, I'm in a mood where I've got a lot of energy and willpower to do these lot. You know, to do these videos. And I'm sort of thinking about doing, you know, stuff with variety in it, not just same old, same old. So, yeah, you know, pretty good place. Anyway, thank you guys for watching today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the like button. Subscribe for some more from me on a regular basis. And we'll see you in the next one. Until next time, guys. Bye for now.